Hey everyone, Rushlock here. We've got our newest episode, I believe episode 7 for Alpha to Omega this month. Discord pinged. If you've not done so already, hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner here on YouTube. All the useful tools, tips, and tricks will be also linked in the description down below the video. And of course, if you have questions, leave comments and we'll do our best to help you out with it. All right, let's get into it. We've got Air Career Program Redemption. Let's grab that. Go here. Redeem the current station. Let's go ahead and open the container. Galente. I didn't make the character Galente. I don't know why. That's the thing. Did I tell it to open later? Open container. Okay. I definitely saw... Oh, Galente Frigate is the skill. I gotcha. Inject it. The skin is 180 days. We can... Uh, Open container, and then like immediately delete because it has no purpose. So we can, I guess we can activate the license, but who cares? All right, ship is good, inventory is good. We'll leave the rifter here for a future contract, maybe. What's the estimate on the ship anyway? Half a mil, not bad. Hey, Moon Ninja, good morning. <laughs> I just saw your post on Discord. Yeah, I, I did an episode this morning of Marvel Midnight Suns. I think the mic was muted, but the performance upgrade was fantastic. Like, now load screens are, are still a few seconds, but nothing, nothing compared to before. It felt like a full two to three minutes sometimes. Xenon, good morning. Hope you're doing well. Xenon, the, I think you've seen the tweet already, but the uh, Rick Stravix reading video will go out Saturday, so day before or day after tomorrow, that video will launch on YouTube. If we weren't two, you know, two minutes into the stream, we'd shill the YouTube and tell folks to go to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. So we'll do so out of practice and muscle memory. But Xenon, hope you're doing well, and thank you again for the reminders. Now, Xenon, I have not seen you yet post another uh, article for me to read, so I can get it recorded and, and put into the queue. Videos are, are queued up through Saturday right now. When do you want suggestions for the new... Yet yeah, now. <laughs> See, not now. Exactly. Uh, go ahead and post the next one when you can into the edit room. And then I will cut it either today or tomorrow. Um, worst case, Monday. But... The... The VOD from yesterday or today should go up on Monday on YouTube. And then I'll just sneak the Rick's ones in. And push things out by a day. Yeah, the sooner you can find one, the better. Because what I'm trying to avoid actively is you posting one on Monday, and I get to it sometime in the week, you know what I mean? One share of schedule, yeah, no, no, that's, you're fine. That's what the whole, whole edit room thing is fine, or is for. Um, it's like a posty note, you know, I, I get to it when I get to it, so you're not, you're not bothering me, you're not interrupting me or anything like that. Um, it just stays in my to-do list kind of a thing, so... And so yeah, you'll you'll get that. And what I would like to do is post one or two Rick's posts per week. So if you can find a second one that I can post, you know, I say post. I, I want to be able to record at least two of them a week and then eventually get into the position where I'm releasing two of them per week. Does that make any sense? Obviously only one's going to go out on Saturday this week, but if I can get one or two more recorded by or on Monday... Then I can post two of them next week and go from there. One, two per week, yeah. And that's, I mean, you know, don't ever feel like, oh, I need to find a second one just for the sake of Phil, right? Like, ideally it'd be ones that, are, that you think are going to be on topics that you think would be of interest to you. Hey, Bush Kitty. And having spoken to Ricks, like, I know they're up for it, I know they're interested in it, I know they like it, so... I don't have to worry about someone feeling negative about me reading their content in, in audio form. My brain is a total mess, so I need to organize it for me as well before I forget in 13 seconds. Yep, nope, I understand that entirely. 100%. But yeah, two a week would be ideal. 
And right now we're just trying to get we're trying to get ahead. Like if you were to go absolutely wild and post, you know, three articles in there today. That would give me stuff to do uh, for the next two weeks. Almost three weeks, yeah. Well, no, not almost three. Let's see, what will be the wild number? We've already done this week. This week's done. But if you post, let's say, two. Yeah, two. If you post two, then that would be the two that I would do for next week. And if by the end of next week you post two more, then I've got everything on hand to do the next week's recordings and so on. That's the weird thing about YouTube, is like... I can record something on Monday and release it two weeks from now um, into a queue. Or if the subject matter, if the topic is like a um, very, very narrow window of opportunity for it to be relevant or more relevant or whatever, then obviously I would, I would shuffle things around to put it out sooner. People making work for Rush. No, he's taking work off my desk. Xenon will curate Rix's contents and then make requests for please read this to us. Oh, loud, angry voice. Oh, oh, man. Junk in the first can. Last two days in a row, we found lots of plates in our first can of the day. Yeah, it's like a filter bush kitty. It's, it's to prevent random junk from being on my desk, but instead... Only filtering to the good stuff. That was a terrible click on my part, by the way. I should have ignored that trap entirely. Never should have clicked it. Let's use a tool here. Core good. But we need another tool. Four, five. Easy game, easy life. Never doubted it for even a moment. More space junk. Let's get over here. Prop one time. Gotta be honest, Rush is doing me a service here. It, well, it's, it's a, it's, it makes it a good arrangement, right? You're getting something that you want. I'm getting something that I want. Everyone's happy. It can only be a net gain for each of us. Rix isn't going to get, you know, less eyes on his content from it. He can only stand to get more. Xenon, through just a couple of easy clicks per week, can save time that they would normally have to set aside for reading. Now they can multitask or whatever convenience is being created. Uh, is this fine? Doesn't seem fine. Oh boy, not fine anymore. Uh, go there. Crap. Okay, there's nothing over there. This can is whelped. There's nothing we do about this can. Let's go ahead and start this one over. Exactly, Bush Kitty. There you go. 2 1. Yuck. There's a one there. We found the core. 6.8 million, some logic circuits, but no place. Let's go to the rubble. Prop once. And also, I wanted to do this anyways for someone else, so it's just fitting for the structure. All the just aligns, gotcha. You wanted to do this for someone else, like someone else's uh, written content, or you wanted someone else to do the readings? There's no wrong answer, I'm just trying to maintain perspective on the, the conversation. Uh, one. Not the core. There we go. Scoop junk. Two remains, burn. Two prop mod pulses. But yeah, Moon Ninja, I got to do an episode of the Min Marvel Midnight uh, Suns this morning. Man, the game is so fun. I even did Storyline, which was nice. It blows my mind that I'm like 20 hours into the game. You know, give or take. And still tutorial stuff. Like, not constant tutorial stuff, just, you know, new mechanics, new systems, new options unlocking. 2-1. Tool, found the core, easy. 
Two armor plates, 16 million, easy game, easy life. First plates of the day. Man, these meds, I keep trying to gank, but 20 minutes in, I have to go lay down. Like, headache, exhaustion, multiple things, Mr. Kitty, or what? Some of them will make it really hard to focus. Two, one. Polymorphic shield, take the tool, core. Both the exhausting and the focus, gotcha. Now, are you on, you didn't have the surgery, so are you on these as a temporary relief, or? Because if so, I'm, I'm guessing you're stuck this way until they figure out that cause, or? Or is this from something else? Have I unlocked Deadpool yet? No. No, I don't even have the DLC for it. I'm, I'm nowhere in the story, Moon Ninja. Like, we, like, Faustus just died in the story. That's how early I am. We recovered his notebook, and I haven't even advanced the day yet. A retriever and one unknown. Let's go to TU. Three unknown sigs, though. See, this is just for sustaining, yeah, but it drastically impacting my ability to do things. Yeah, exactly. So you're, you're stuck like this until they find the causation for the gland issue. Yuck. Oh yeah, I don't know if you'll remember this offhand, Moon Ninja. I need to find Death Cap and something else as material. Now I'm guessing I need to do the next Blood Gate to open up more areas to gain access to new materials and all that good stuff. I'm tempted to do some Midnight Suns today after gym, but 8 a.m. me can make a lot of, of ideas and suggestions that 2 p.m. me is just like, what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> that reminds me, I need to get the sound on here. Flip-flopped. Uh, let's go here. There we go. Two AU. I don't remember going to eight AU on that one. See, Xenon, my significant other has absolute voice actor voice. Wants to do something with it, but a mind as scrambled as mine. So we need to move each other. Okay, gotcha. The plan is to throw a written German. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You told me about that. You told me about that. I got you now. Whoop. There we go. I believe those items are in the next area, okay. Yeah, because before, my hunter was too low level to do the next blood... Well, I shouldn't say too low level. They were below the suggested level, right? And so I held off. Um, but now, they're at or above, so I'm going to go back and do the blood gates and then see what that opens up and go from there. Hey, guess who? Hope you're doing well. And Jinx, good morning. Rocking that VIP. For anyone who doesn't know, we have 19 VIP badges left. After the Great Purge, the Great Shill Accounting, 19 VIP badges are free. Get them while they last and... Ooh, wait. Jinx, did you grab your Shillville plots already? Let me go look. Is Jinx on this sheet? Control F, Jinx. Nope. All right, Jinx. You get, because you're a VIP and a subscriber, Jinx, you get... 24 plots you can claim. 24. So take a look at the map when you can. Grab your 24 plots. Send me a DM on Discord with the coordinates. A DM on Discord with the coordinates. Even if you don't build anything right now, that's fine. You can always build later. But you want to get your plots claimed while you can. That sounds like a city block. No, it's, it's a lot less than it seems. Because like it's basically a 4x6, right? Ooh, another relic site. Let's go here. Uh, let's go back to here. I don't know why my probes are all messed up. Let's go there. But yeah, six by four basically. So which is like 
six by four is what two uh, two two by threes side by side like hold on six by six by four this would be a a four by four here so a little bit bigger than that yeah basically the the full bottom half of the pond and half of the the next part of the pond or as an example the feet on this penguin are a two by three so you'd have you'd have twice that much space as well the police station over here is a four by six there's a good example is that correct? Yeah, six by four. Yeah, so you have you have this much space to carve carve out. All right, six are scan. Let's go here. I see questions in chat. Give me just a moment. I'll catch up. Let's take a look. Uh, hey, Miso, welcome back. Do you think the universe has a finite size? <sighs> I don't know. Astrophysics hasn't really been a, a focus of mine. Do you think there's an end of the universe? So, I mean, the way I was, I was taught growing up as a kid is that the universe is always expanding. Those are the theories that I grew up on. But, you know, can I tell you that I know one way or the other? No. Is the ending of something the start of another, or can there actually be an end to something that exists? I'm haunted by this question, so, so, so shall you be. I learned to save before doing the blood gate. If I messed up, just reload and do it again instead of waiting for another night. Oh, that's a good point, too. I didn't think about that. I only done one blood gate. It didn't seem that challenging, so it never, it never occurred to me to be worried about it. I'm more worried about the storyline missions at this point. This most recent one was fairly easy, though. But after that Venom battle, I was like, oh god, these, these storyline missions could be nightmares. Wonder if the Patreon people could choose to use some of those 24 to build vertically, or is that making things too complicated? Uh, so... When they support on Patreon Balrogs, every month points get added to their, their shill wallet, and those are the points they can use for building vertically. So yes, yes-ish. If I'm understanding the question, I'm going to fail this damn can. Wow! First, rawr, this can sucked. Alright, let's go over this way. There was no, no counterplay there. Zaf. I just played one right after I read your message. It was obscene. Like... They played two creatures, and then their entire hand was spells to make their guys have hexproof, and buff them, and then every time they cast a spell, I get a, I get a poison counter, and it's just like, that's okay, I didn't want to play magic anyway. Yeah, yeah, Balrogs. So, subscribing, like for you, for yours example, you get a 2 by 2 right? Now, I want to add to people's shill wallets when they resub, but I have nothing that tracks resubs. I guess that's not true, I could use the event log from... From the stream elements page. I guess I could look into that. So, even with a 2x2, two two, you would acquire or accrue 200 points every month to put toward bricks. I've just got to get into the habit of putting the resubs into my routine, my daily routine for the shill counting, and making sure those people get their points. Yeah, there's nothing you can do apart from maybe edict them. Yeah, like, if you're not making them sacrifice a creature, they just laugh at you. Like, like they're not going to block because they don't care about their life total. You can't go into combat with their creatures. Like, <laughs> you can't shoot their creatures. Now, I don't know enough about the current meta and magic to know if they should ban it right outright or whatever, but it was definitely a, a rough go loading into the new set this morning. Like, what the bleep is this? <laughs> hey, Squeam. Hope you're doing well. Let's go prop mod there and grab the lock. We've got a pond expansion here in Shillville. Shad chose to go yellow over here. I don't know if he has like a, a future plan or if we just ran out of green blocks. That's what he wanted to use there. And then Genius Frog, of course, is next door. No! This is standard, Bush Kitty. This is standard, just launched. Now, I presume Zaf and I are talking about the same two card interaction, but the one I saw was Rot Priest and. Fuck this game. Um. Some 2 1 flyer, I don't remember the name of. Uh, junk? Oh boy. Nope, nope, going down in flames here. Grab that, kill this. 
found the core, we're fine. Junk in the can, because of course there is. We've got a ruin over here, though. Hey, Kruk. Hope you're doing well. Glad you could join us today. Work push to deployment. Just keeping an eye for bugs today. Gotcha, Squeam. Waiting for the reports to come in. Waiting for nerds to break things. Yeah, it's disgusting, Bush Kitty. It's absolutely gross. Robberies also seems to guarantee, like, four protection spells in hand. So, yeah, like... They cast their protection spells. Like, I mean, like, my slow brain's off of, of forming together when I was witnessing it. I'm like, okay, they're going to cast... I shot I shot the 2-1 flyer, right? And so they cast a hexproof spell on the rot priest, and I'm like, who cares? And then, like, the 2-1 flyer is the one that says whenever you cast something on someone else, you get another copy, and I'm like, uh-oh. Or whenever something is casted on something else, they don't have to cast it. So I'm having to be careful with my spells, because I'm worried they're going to, you know, I have to, I have to primary the 2-1 down. I was like, what an absolute mess. Uh, bad. Can we clear it? I can clear it. Yeah, I can clear it. I have no coherence with it now. Can go right into another trap. Fuck this game. 2 1. Grab the tool. Nothing over there. So, what I need is here. And we're never. <laughs> 300. Okay. Okay, game. Okay. Nerds always break things. That's true, Squeam. Do you get more loot the longer you spend hacking? No, 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 no. So the contents of the can, Bunny, are already determined as soon as we encounter the can. Or is it best to rush? Yeah, you want to rush. Hey, Uncle Online. Nobody believed I scanned a little 471 probe strength. Thank you for validating. Happy to do so, Uncle Online. It worked out perfectly. I, I had 60 probe strength, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? You know, part of it's because the expert system had fallen off. And I'm like, all right, fine. Let's see what kind of upgrades we can get, and then... Got it all sorted out, and we ended up at 71 probe strength, and I'm like, hey, this works out well, because now I get to go prove Uncle Online's uh, claim that they had hacked at 71. Seven intact. Remember, played 67 million. We finally get paid and find some decent loot. Let's go to the next can there. Hey, Jacob, good morning. Did y'all MTG nerds catch uh, that Bank of America's? Brutal downgrade of Hasbro stock. No, I haven't squeamed. I've heard like, or I've seen, I should say, headlines, you know, referencing things not being so well over there recently and stuff like that, but I haven't seen like any details. Hey, Kilgore. If someone does a $10 tip, that nets how many points in the shill wallet is it 1,000? 1,000 base Balrogs? But if you look at the tip command right now, anyone who uses the tip command also gets a 20% buff. So they would get 1,200 points right now. But your your math on the, the base value is correct. It's a base 1,000. But currently, someone would get a uh, 1,200 points total. One mil in the can, sight done. Let's go to that level one over here. Let's see if we get lucky. Two relic sites in the system. Already at 100 million. There's also four different protection spells and blue green standard right now too. That's crazy, Zaf. Yep, Uncle Online. That sounds about right. Two years ago, I remember. I was like, that seems like some wild shit. But you know, what could I say? Like, I'm not in a situation where I'm using 71 pro strength. I'd have to go like fit up for it exactly. It might have been Squeam or someone else in chat that said we should go out with 70 and, and test with 70 to see if it's it's possible. But 71 was tight. I got to 99.7 on a level four, Uncle Online. 99.7. I was like, oh my god, is this going to work? But eventually it did. We got there. That wasn't you, Squeam? Okay, then yeah, I don't know who it was. They were like, yep, definitely need more science. Let's go Let's go for 70. I found 60, 66, but I haven't found like a combination of things that takes us to 70 specifically. Grab the tool. Rule of six over here. Two, one. Core. All right, level one core was easy to find for the ruin. But unfortunately, the can had junk in it. Let's go to slow boat over here. Hey, Shad. Hope you're doing well. I can't believe it's Thursday. Holy crap, this week has flown by. 
Which is weird because it's been so ethical. Like, I don't think we've had an unethical hype train yet this week. I said for science for sure because science, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe like your for science comment came through around the time they had mentioned going for seventy. <laughs> this week, right, Shad? Now, Shad, your pond. Now, tell me, Shad, is is your pond what you thought it would be in terms of like have I placed it correctly? Let me look we'll big on the Shillville here. I presume you you used yellow because we were at a green. But I didn't know if you had a, a forward-reaching thought or idea or concept in mind. Or if it was just simply a, this is the color that looks most natural and is currently available. Pond? Fuck you, it's a river. Oh, I thought you said you were trying to make a pond. I know someone else said they were going for a pond. I, I thought maybe you'd beat them to it. Uh, let's go... Pixels can behave. There we go. Fuck you, it's a river! <laughs> Yellow was second best, gotcha. Those are the flowers I had in mind, see? Yep, I remember Squeam wanted a pond. I thought Shad was trying to uh, facilitate the desired effect. Hmm, where the hell is this going to go? Alright, we're fine. Four million, decent can. Let's go over this way. One the pond for the froggy, yep. See, I may request a swap for one of those yellows for symmetry. Yeah, that makes sense. Got your uncle online, we'll be here. The frog is now adjacent to the riverbank, yep. <laughs> it's a river. Let's go 2-1, two, tool, 3-2, rule of 6, core is a click away, easy, 3 million, let's go with the rubble, now you need a van down by the river, oh no, Elderwolf found out that a jeep would be expensive to place, I imagine a van would be even, even more difficult. Is it best to do probe scanning and hacking with Heron for beginners? Short answer is yes. The Heron is the most uh, min-max friendly or min-max capable option. The reason is for the number of mid-slots it has. Mid-slots are very valuable when scanning and hacking, so... Short answer is yes. If you have questions or want to get into it more, I'm happy to discuss it, but... I try to give folks the succinct answer before... Going down the, the deep well of overwhelming them with information. Okay. Let's keep this in range. All those ones. Go ahead and pop the wrench. Another one is over here, but that might have been reference to the wrench we uncovered. Another wrench. 2-1. Kill that. Three, two, one. Right to the core. Very good. Junk in the can. Let's get to the final remain. We're good to go. So today, we're going to do this episode for the Alpha to Omega. And we'll likely pop on the Faction war for Warfare and or... I'm thinking about setting up a, a segment where I go through Rookie Chat and or uh, setting up a Kaldari character for heading to Torinos and parking it with the um, Blob Uni Nerds and try to help facilitate their new bro program. We'll see how the day plays out. Two. There's the core, and we're good. Site completes. Three million. TU's gonna go into Y9. Let's hop down this way. I don't have enough points left for my bridge. Foundations, or the bridge spans themselves. That's what future months are for. Shillville wasn't meant to be built in a day.
I suppose someone could wail out after they get their plots, but that's merely an option, not the, uh, the expected interaction. <laughs> Squeam! Squeam, Archon's gonna love you. Where is Archon? Hold on, I gotta go tag Archon right now. Eve Online. At Archon. Oh, for fuck's sake, why is your name always different? This is, this is blaming Squeam. Squeam has a different name on the platform. It's, it's you know, basically hell. We'll go find... Okay, Arkham Queen, okay. Arkham. Just ship named... Thought... Would... There you go. Alright, what is this? This is an old sig from two days ago. Let's get into... What the hell am I? Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Let's go BW. Let's go set name to Mike and Hawk, and we're good to go. Request complete. Well done, Squeam. FOMO says, Shad, I know, but if someone else gets those bricks first, <laughs> I would... Shad, I would never, I would never... Incorporate a FOMO mechanic. Never. Hey, Cable. Dan. 8 a.m. Dan. Shill in the high sec buyback. Good morning, Dan. Hope you're doing well. Glad you could join us today. What is new in Danland? Dan, what is the, the school countdown? That's right, 7 a.m. your time. <laughs> Archon responded on Discord already with a, with a gif. For Squeam. <laughs> That's right, if you guys are not following Dan, we should be able to do a shout-out this early. Shout-outs. Now, here's the thing. Dan the bartender. Is anybody in chat not already following Dan? And if so, if you click the follow button, can you can you X up in Twitch chat? Because shout-outs, if not done properly, are absolutely pointless. You unfollowed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have to have at least one new person... Hit the follow button on Dan's channel. You, you can unfollow immediately. Jacob's all over it. Thank you, Jacob. Squeam's all over it. Look at that. That fucking casual Vinny Duche is currently like at least 0 and 2 on shoutouts. Let me just scroll back and take a look here. Where was Vinny's last shoutout? Oh, yeah. That was before. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's 0 and 2 right now. Poor Vinny. Poor Vinny. XHQ goes into G. Let's go here. Let's go there. Let me scroll back up to Croc. Croc says, I got a game to give away today. If you if want to add some loot to the giveaways, got a copy of the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Game of the Year Edition. Croc, that is an awesome game, too. And will do, Croc. Croc, if you'd like to set the terms, do you want that to go out on a level 2 hype train? Or you can, the number's arbitrary, you can set it wherever you want it. But absolutely can do. And thank you, Croc. That's very kind of you. Doing coursework today, so half you running in the background to keep me sane, Cable. I'm glad we can help. Dan's got a little th over three weeks to go for school, and that finishes up. Hey, Rakanos. Archon has requested a drive-by by Vinegar Duche in Shillville. Archon, good morning. And we'll do... <laughs> Dan unfollowed, too. Yoon Keats, hello and welcome, and thank you for the follow. Right, Archon? It's a party in here now. Crux says, let's go for a level 2. We'll do. All right. If we can complete a level 2 hype train today, in addition to our unethical giveaways, Kruk is adding in a copy of Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Game of the Year Edition, courtesy of Kruk. And thank you, Kruk. That's very kind of you. Going to try for two hours, Shad? Is that two, day, two hours of breakfast today, or have I missed the conversation? Wow, look at this. Archon... Archon and Squeam, a ship name request is coming in. Ship name PvP. Big PP damage has replaced Mike Hawk. All due to Jacob. Archon won't have it though. Nope, Archon is not going to allow it. It's Mike Hawk. And Jacob's going to like it. Jacob's going to like Mike Hawk whether he likes it or not. It's not relevant. Let's go to NR. We're caught up on those. I'm going to do the drive-by request. Let's see if I can get the camera on it here. What the hell is that? 
Hey, Liz isn't around a while. That might be a cancellation notice. Let's go take a look. Uh, let's see. Notifications. Do, do, do. Or could be somebody just getting their, uh, their charge through. I don't know. That was weird. I don't know if Liz's schedule has changed. I haven't seen Liz in chat in a while. Hope all is well with them. We'll go back to the camera here. Where are we at? Okay, this is Vinny's patrol car if you haven't seen it before. Vinny is going to patrol Shillville. Oh, that's, nah, that's a decent roll. Let's turn. Let's make sure Vinny can get back to the, the police station as well. Oh yeah, he made it. Vinny, keeping the streets of Shillville clean and safe from unsavory criminal scum. You know who they are. Put Vinny back over there. Uh, no six. Where the hell are we? NR goes into IW. Let's go this way. We have ship names coming in now. Stoffel getting points in for the giveaway. Thank you, Stoffel. Dan wants to name the ship Bob Felterbush. But Archon says no. The ship name will be fucking Archon. Let's go set name. Dan's gets skipped because of Archon. Let's go clean these up. Clear these out. I'm caught up there. Dan and Archon, thank you both. Now, there is a new channel point sync that I put in yesterday. Anybody can add a million isk to our jackpot giveaways by putting a thousand get goods into it. The option is down there in the red button that says get good, click it. And you can redeem it as many times as you want. But every thousand points will add a million isk going out to the jackpot giveaway. But I only want to kill the isk. That's true. May not be for you, Archon. Archon, there are other people in the chat, Archon. Jesus, Archon. What an asshole. Let's go to DNR. God likes us. Hello, what's happening in the world of Eve? Most recently, is it is it Ohide? I'm probably destroying the pronunciation of the system name, but apparently the Amarians are building another transmuter, but this time in their own Amarian space. So, <laughs> Archon. Future kill getting points in for the large skill injector giveaway as well. Thank you very much. And Jacob's not wrong. Like, we had the expansion, what, drop in November? And now we have the new, like, um... The new story just breaking, I think, yesterday. For the Amarian stuff. I've been hoarding... Uh, the currency... Other than for X-Men. The fandom getting in the way of... There we go. I got a uh, Marvel Snap update from Swift. He says he's completed Series 3 of the cards. Let's go into G. If nothing's in DNR here. Let me catch up on chat some more. We've got uh, Zvilko. Is it worth installing Eve? It can be. Depends on what you want and what you're looking for, Zvilko. If you have more questions, just ask. We'll try to answer them for you. Jumble, there is only Archon. The rest of us are just constructs of the AI shackling program to keep Archon imprisoned. For mining, yes, is Archon. There's potential Archon for mining content coming up. I'll, I'll share more as, as more becomes known. Will there be another event soon? Uh, presumably the Guardian Gala should be coming up soon. Would be my guess. Just based on past schedules and such. Give me a second, guys. I'll catch up on chat here. Can you do mining as an alpha? Uh, mechanically, yes, but the ceiling for mining as an alpha is very low uh, to prevent abuse, which I can tell you, no matter what they say, Svilko, don't, don't listen to them. They're not to be trusted. Almost every single scumbag in this channel would abuse that kind of mining, free-to-play mining in a heartbeat. Some free, chillin' game. Yeah, you can play EVE that way. Some people will disagree, and that's their choice, but you can absolutely make EVE a... That's how I started EVE. I was mining in high sec after work, firing up lasers. I guess it wasn't free to play though. I was subscribed, so I guess I had more progression on the ships though. But if you're not doing it to uh, like get rich in game or something, you just want to relax in the in the aesthetic, then yeah, you absolutely could. Godlike, am I wrong in saying Eve is on a little slump right now? Oh no, I would agree, Godlike. Their expansion launched in November. Um it's a bit 
So like their expansion dro- drops in November, but in in most of Europe, and Iceland's no exception, that that part of the year goes straight into the holidays and they pretty much don't come back and do anything major, like forward facing, right? Until the spring. So they have an expansion planned for second quarter. So January, February, March, April, May, June. Somewhere between May, April, May, June, another expansion is due to come out. We can just assume it's going to be June, right? And they claim it'll be on the same scope and scale as Uprising, which Uprising was overhyped, in my opinion. It was a a step in the right direction, but not a leap that they were marketing. So we'll see. Dan says, so I got the new Harry Potter game. Don't know when I'll actually be able to play it. It goes into the backlog, Dan. Yep. Goes into the pile. I've heard good things about it so far. What's your past uh, Harry Potter experience, Dan? Yeah, Bush Kitty. <laughs> Are you jumping around to find a better place to scan? Uh, no, I'm looking for SIGs. Like, we've got four in here, but I've got a person in local. I don't know what ship they're in, so I'm going to jump to the next system. Put all this stuff in my, my tripwire notepad so that I can more easily keep track of what's going on. Now, if I check D-Scan and I see, like, okay, they're in a certain ship doing a certain thing, then I have more information to operate on. But when I have no information, I just make the next jump and keep gathering intel. We're all good guys here, says Kruk. So, wait, do I need a corporation at all cost? Like, should your primary concern be getting a corporation? Um, yes and no. Like... You don't want to get a corporation or into a corporation just for the sake of doing so, but you also don't want to limit yourself by by just playing solo all the time. Most activities in EVE are time leveraged, meaning two people can get done in an hour more than what one person could do in two hours, if that makes any sense. Let's go to 4B. Frosty says, Wish to speak would tell us what was coming to build up some hype in terms of specifics. In regards to the expansion, I would agree, right? If we're in February, we've got February and March to go through, so we've got, what, seven weeks for the quarter, and then we've got a whole other quarter after that, 12 weeks. We've got 19 weeks until an expansion drops, and we don't have the, the slightest idea of what it's going to contain. And to be fair, we, we kind of didn't know what to expect from, from uh, Uprising, other than it would be faction warfare-oriented, developing tech that could later then be implemented into high sec and or null sec for a more dynamic setting. Like that's all we've, we've heard so far. And I guess it's different for me, Frosty. Like, I'm, I'm plugged into this stuff probably 10 hours a day. At least five days a week, if not more, right? So I, I probably have more things across my desk. So it wouldn't be surprising if, if not, none of this has made it to, to other people's feeds or views. We're not just doing this for money. So you've only seen the movies but not read the books, gotcha. We're doing it for a shitload of money. Hey there, money. Acid. Hope we're doing well. <laughs> Archon, can you stream mining sometime? If that's your cup of tea, of course. Uh, in general, we're yes. Not just doing this do I have for a specific money? date and time that I plan to do so? Not yet. We're doing it but for it a could happen of money. Uh, soon. There's a lot of stuff and things moving around in the background that I have to... Sort out with other nerds first. What's the word for this? Current, um, oh yeah, season passes or whatever. X-Men stuff. Last one had Storm. Of course, but for an Avatar pass. Let's go there. Let's get into... Where the hell are we? Utex? I need to get into FC. Let's go there. How the hell do we get two shills back-to-back? What is going on? Kruk has gifted a sub to Jacob. Who was, who was mentioning ads a moment ago. Kruk, thank you very much. Kruk is also gifting a sub to Miso Bunny. Kruk, thank you very much for two gifted subs. Guys, the hype train is in station. 
We have not had an unethical hype train yet this week. We'll see if we can break that uh, that streak. But we need two professional shills who are not cruck in the next less than four minutes to cheer 100, gift a sub, drop a prime, or hit the resub button. In fact, the next shill is the one doing some heavy lifting as you put a clock on the top of chat so we can keep track of the shill timer. But we need one person to cheer 100, gift a sub, drop a prime, or hit the resub button to get that clock up and running. But Kruk, thank you again very much for the two gifted subs. You are nerd of the day now, Kruk. For gifted subs, let's go over here. Get Kruk added in. Kruk added. There we go. And thank you again, Kruk. Very much appreciated. What someone does not know, the epic mining streams are caught. <laughs> Bump the miner, says Dan. Hey, Skygen. You're not wearing pants? Well, I would hope not. That's that's the natural state of things, right? Pants are overrated? Absolutely. Squeam says, no hype train I've ever tried to get out of a station has ever worked. I don't think that's true, isn't it? Didn't the second or third try go through? I thought. I thought that was the case. Let's get into 5i, then DP Tech. Let's go this way. Jumble demonstrating the Dodged Kappa. That's right. If anybody in chat is not already subscribed, learn about the Dodged Kappa from the ads commands. Oh, that's right, Squeam. That's right. The gift of sub whiffed at the last, at last second. Doing this for money. Salt Mining Time says Archon with the Cheer 100. Archon, thank you for the bits. You're now Nerd of the Day on the bit side. And we have two minutes, now less than two minutes, to find one more professional shill. Squeam, they're giving you a layup here. They're trying to bait you. Uh, the Archon. Put D at the end. There we go. Archon, thank you again very much. You're now Nerd of the Day on the bit side. Will we find one more professional shill in less than 100 seconds? We'll find out here soon. Stewie and local. Is this the same Stewie or a different Stewie? Let's go to DP Tech. Click, click, click. Shillville AS, right? Sawdeath. Sawdeath, as a subscriber, you can get a 2x2 two two plot in Shillville. Just do the Shillville command. Shillville. Follow directions. Send me a DM on Discord with your coordinates. You can have your plot. Oh no, what if Squeam We're not just doing this for tried to money. do a gift sub again, but like at the last second got, got cut off again? We're doing it for a shitload Sykeskin, of money. with Uncle Online who got back, gifting out the sub. Uncle Online, thank you very much for kicking off the hype train and gifting out the sub to Sykeskin. Sykeskin. Hype train at 80% of level 1. We now have 4.5 minutes to beat level 1 hype train. It would take 400 bits or 1 sub, resub, gift sub, or prime. We're not just doing to beat that level one hype money. train. We're doing it for right a shitload of money. We got new SIGs. Rami Lagar. Hope I'm not money. destroying your name. First time chatting. We're doing it for a shitload breaks of money. out 200 bits. Rom, thank you very much for the support. Taking us to 90% of the hype train level one, and then Croc with a 10. Gifted sub bomb. Cruck, thank you very much. Brenton, Arcane, Blitz, Schneef, Mrs. Don't Talk, Kostra, Nico, Pure Floyd, Sybin, and Uncle. All gifted subs courtesy just doing this for money. of Uncle Online. Uncle Online. Cruck. Jesus, you guys are getting all mixed up. Cruck. <laughs> thank you again very much. Holy crap. And then we're not done with the Mega Shill. Archon drops 49. Hundred bits all at once to go to 5k bits. I think they both secure their Nerd of the Day status. I don't think either of them will get dethroned as Nerd of the Day. Archon and Kruk with the, the two-man push. Heavy lifting on the hype train. Level 4 is complete. Since level 4 hype train completed, we're going to be doing at least one bag of the Giant's Lego set today. The Giant Castle Lego set. We're doing at least one bag. If level 5 hype train completes before time runs out, we'll make it a double. Two bags of the big ass castle set could be done today. I'll have to wait and see. Now, I know I'm behind on chat, guys. Give me just a moment. I'll catch up on every message. But thank you all again very, very much. Xenon. Xenon has a legitimate dodged kappa. We'll see if it holds. Now, we have a new first-time chatter. Naranja? Naranya? I might be destroying your name. There is any way to move around without have item. Sometimes enemies approach to me and get too close to me and mess up the optimal range of my weapon. 
How can orbit or hold the distance of the enemy? We're not just doing this for money. Hold on. Uh, to keep them in optimal range on my weapon. So if you right click them, or actually if you just select them, right? Select the enemy, and then you have all these options up here. And you see it orbit 1,000 meters. If you right click that button, give me a second here. If you right click that button, you can set the default orbit to whatever you want it to be. And then you can just hotkey, it's currently W, probably by default. Hit that, and you're good to go. That should be what you need. And Naranya, let me know if that, if that fixes things or not. We can try and help you more if we have more issues. All right. Need to see an alpha to omega mining. Fuck off, Archon. <laughs> alpha to omega mining. Oh, God. Got to secure that nerd of the day point. Kruk, you, you may have very well have done so. That's a lot of gifted subs. And thank you again very, very much. We don't have six months. <laughs> it's... We have we have a lot of uh, mining request time though banked up. Squeam getting the bits in. Squeam, thank you very much. Let's go back up and chat some more. Two minutes left on the hype train again. Level four hype train completed. That means we have uh, let's see three, two, three, and four. So we have three rounds of casino giveaways for both hype train conductors, who are Kruk and Archon, and then we have two rounds of jackpot giveaways to do. And then we also have one bag of the giant Lego set to do today, but we have two minutes left. We can make it a double two bag sets of the giant Lego castle to build on stream today. But we'd have to beat level five hype train. Let's see if it can be done. I'm checking the shill math here. It would take 11 subs or 5,500 bits. That's a lot. Doesn't need to be one person. Doesn't even need to be two people. We've got Archon and Kruk already doing the heavy lifting. But if enough professional shills in less than 100 seconds, type cheer 100, gift a sub, drop a prime, or hit your own resub button, you can start pushing that level 5 into doubling up our Lego time. Alpha to Omega mining stream. Only six months in adventure to get one month Omega, right? No pores, Archon. <laughs> You're lucky I didn't dethrone you, Archon. I got fanfest in my books, I'm sure. I'm sure Archon is, is shaking in the brute saw death. Naranya, many thanks. Rush, no problem. Any questions you have, just ask. I, I promise I'll get them as to them as soon as I can. Jacob, I want to say I love this community. You guys show so much support to the streamers and each other, and it brings back my faith in humanity every time I see it. So thank you all for making the world uh, feel worth living for. Well, thank you, Jacob. That's very kind of you. Punch rock for Omega Cassius, right? All right, nobody in this local. Let's get Tripwire updated. I'm slowly catching up to chat here. I'm almost there. Only 35 seconds left on the hype train. Can level 5 happen? We'll find out in a few seconds. I only do this for the salt, says Archon. Bill or bust rush, off to take the minions to school. Got will do, Archon. Be safe. We'll be here when you get back. Hell, we might still be doing giveaways when you get back. We've got so many queued up to do. Now, anyone who hasn't done so, this is very important. Down below chat, there's a red button that says get good. Click it. That will open up your channel point menu. We have a new redeemable. Anyone and everyone in chat can put a thousand points, click the button for adding to the jackpot giveaway, and you can increase it. Don't miss out on that opportunity. Ooh, a level 2 relic site. You can also click it as many times as you want. It is open-ended. It's meant to be a channel point sync. So if you want the jackpot giveaway to get insane, start slamming those points. It looks like Balrog's got one in. We're up to six total bonus million in there. I also wanted to do one of those Lego Mindstorms. Who knows what I'd come up with. Man. Creative Lego building. One day. One day I'll, I'll take out like a generic cr like creator set. I'll take chat requests. Like build day and then we'll, we'll try to build it. Go from there. Squeam would like to see a Patreon shout out. We'll do Squeam. And thank you. Svilko getting points in for extra millions in the giveaway. I've got that written down. Thank you, Svilko. Level 2 Relic and Local. Let's get these six moved over here. Move that over here. There we go. Rom getting points in. Adding another million to the giveaway pile. Thank you very much. So rip my pity screen on the ship, Free Dave. Fair, says Jacob. That's right. Fair play. Fair play. 
<laughs> Scan over here. <laughs> Man, thank you guys again so much. Archon, Rom, Squeam, Kruk, Uncle Online, making that hype train happen. Very, very much appreciated. Our first unethical hype train of the week, and we get to do at least one bag of the Lego set later in the morning. Who knows, maybe an hour from now we'll have another level 4 hype train that we can do 1 plus 1 for 2. Or, if it goes super unethical, we could end up having to do 3 bags of Lego building today. Have to see what happens. Do you remember playing with Kinex? Yeah, as a preteen, I got my first set in 99. I s think I still have the old manual. I was already too old by then, but I remember the brand existing. I'm pretty sure EJ Rar even has a set of Kinex. If I'm remembering correctly. Let me get these SIGs in the tripwire. Now, Kruk, how would you like to do your casino giveaways? Kruk, Kruk, Kruk. We've got Bill or Bust for Archon. But what would Kruk like to do for their jackpot giveaways? Let's burn to the ruin. Go here. Prop once. Jacob, always, always take care of your finances first. People support as and when they can. It's always appreciated, but never expected. Vicious gets points in. The extra jackpot millions. Thank you, Vicious. Spin one time and walk for Crux. We'll do Crux, and thank you. Man, Micro Machines. I remember Micro Machines. I had the, the quote-unquote jumbo airplane that you would store them in. I was so proud of that thing. I remember all the commercials, doing the fast talking. Who knows, maybe that's why I do the fast talking. Uh, five. Nothing over there. Grab the wrench. Two, one. Tool. Nothing's left over there. Okay, so the core has got to be over here somewhere. Man, this thing is brutal. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, fuck. Alright, not okay. Not okay. I don't remember Geotrax. We'll see if someone in chat does. Now, we do have a lot of giveaways coming up, but I want to run this Relic site first, and then we'll catch up on giveaways. We're in the Alpha 2 Omega recording time, so I kind of want to finish this first, if I can, before getting distracted. But we will do all the giveaways. We have all the instructions from our winners. Uh, let's go here. Grab the tool. Two. One. Five, five, four, junk. Oh boy. Oh boy. I found the core. Let's just stop clicking things. <laughs> Get the can hacked. What do we have in here? Two plates for 18 million. I like it. A decent start. Let's go over here. The game copy is on... Oh, Kruk! Thank you! Kruk, you're absolutely right. Let's actually do that giveaway real quick. Uh, let's see. G starts. Five minutes, one winner. ESO. Mo uh, three. Morrowind. I'm going to misspell it, by the way. Morrowind. Uh, game of the Year edition. Thanks to Kruk. Alright. That giveaway is open, everybody. Giveaway is open. On Discord, thanks to Kruk, due to all your guys' amazing supports, if you've not been to our Discord, the link is in chat, you can win a Game of the Year edition copy on GOG.com of Elder, Sc Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind Game of the Year edition. All you have to do is click the big button one time, hit that button once, and you're good to go. 11 in there so far, and Kruk, thank you again for the prize. Very much appreciated. So I'm trying to juggle all the things once here. Thank you for the reminder, Kruk. Tamagotchi's and Furbies, oh god. Yeah, I had younger cousin, well, I had a younger sister and, and a younger cousin that was close to her age that were bigger into those things. 2 1. Let's go here. There's the core. 2 mil in the cans, burn to the second ruin. Try to get this done before anyone can show up. Did anyone ever play Adventure Quest? Was it Battleon? Is it here? 
This was the free-to-play online, you know, web-based game. I sunk way too much time into. What is this? Okay. Put that over there. Three, two, one. Grab tool. Ah, gotcha, Jacob. Yeah, I'm old. I just turned 40, so I was already out of high school by then. I graduated 01? 01. So old, you have to actually stop and think about it. Uh, one, tool, one, five. Where the hell is the core at? There we go. Ooh, a junk and a ruin. That's not nice. Let's go this way. You are five years younger than me. Hey, future kill, this is an adult daycare, all right? I, I, I have no illusions of how this works. I know that uh, I'll be set 40 in September. We're getting age <laughs> jumble, and we're online. We're on the internet, guys. We should be dead twice over by online society rules. It's all juice cups and crackers and park benches for us. 2-1, there's the core. More junk. Let's go this way and prop twice. Other than a stuffed Barney, I remember on my street outs in the country, teens would get those toys like Furby and a few other annoying toys. These idiots use it as a target practice. Oh, wow. I remember buying the... Uh, so it wasn't Barney. What was the green... Triceratops. Was that just Baby? What was that character's name? But I remember being like 10 and using my own money to get my uh, younger sister one of those for Christmas. She was, she was of the age where Barney was the thing. Three, two... Wrench. Three. Clear that one. Two. There's the core. There's one more. Baby Bop. There you go. It's Baby Bop. Four million. Let's go here and grab the last can. And start catching up on stuff. Oregon Trail. Hell yeah. Oregon Trail. There's a new Oregon Trail future kill. Have you seen it on Steam? I'm older and, and slightly wise enough to not pick it up and, and put it in my backlog, but visually it looks pretty cool. Like, it's still the same 2D game. They aren't, like, um, they haven't, like, you know, remade it and, and changed it or anything. You haven't seen it? Okay, if you get a chance, go look on Steam for Oregon Trail. They license it from the from the actual owners of the, of the property. And while they've modernized it and prettied it up, it's still the same 2D, you know, style and stuff like that you would expect. They didn't, like, Michael Bay that shit into something unrecognizable. Anyone remember the show Alf? Fuck yeah. I had the Alf. I had the talking Alf. He was awesome. I tease now that my son, he's two, and he chases the cat around a little bit. I'm like, alright, you little Alf, come back here. Leave the kitty alone. He just does a whole little, you know, toddler... Toddle after the cat. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Your dog ate it! What the f- I, I had, a, I had a, a Scottish Terrier as a kid, so... She was too little to be that destructive. Hey, Ghosty. Hope you're doing well. Squeam and Ghosty getting points in for the LSI giveaway. Thank you both. Remy Main as well. The raw ore of different states of matter have different properties, like solid peroxides. So, Naranya, when you, when you mine raw ore, you then uh, refine it into minerals. And based on the type of, of an ore, will yield... An extra 5 or 10%, I believe, of that mineral, if it's of a higher, quote-unquote, uh, quality. We have a winner. Cassius, congrats. You've won the copy of Elder Scrolls Online. Well, it's not online. I shouldn't have put the yes, though. Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind. Game of the Year edition provided by Kruk. Uh, Kruk, if you can confirm when you've sent them a DM and uh, gotten whatever you need to be able to send it to them, Please and thank you. If I need to do anything, Croc, let me know. And uh, again, thank you very much for providing that, that prize. Uh, 
We're good there. Oh, also, I think for Naranya that might be helpful is it's a uh, or 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 table we have. And it goes to at Nar not Dan. Nar there we go. So Naranya, the or table post and chat is for you. Take a look at that and you can sort out or by uh, most and least quote unquote valuable. That might be useful for you as well. Hot damn, you love tomorrow. Hey, very good. Code has been sent out. Thank you, Kruk. Thank you very much. Have you ever used GOG.com before, uh, Cassius? Ooh, what is the SIG going to be? Let's go here. We still have three rounds of casino giveaways to do for both Kruk and Archon. We have two rounds of jackpot wheel spins to do. We have not forgotten. We have at least one bag of Lego time to do as well. This is a combat site. Put this in tripwire. Get ourselves into 18x. But we're going to finish the Alpha to Omega route first, which we're in the latter part of it. So it's going well pretty so far. So far pretty well on that side. Empty water goes over there. Let's crack into the water. Staying on pace for hydration. Oh man, Cassius. That website is so good. If any of you have not seen it before, GOG.com, goodoldgames.com. They started off as a platform for just retro PC games that they had ported to modern operating systems. And over as you know, time goes by, they've been able to expand their business in the, in the current modern title distribution as well, of course. But the big selling point for them as a platform is if you buy a game on Steam and, you know, you have to be connected through Steam to, to access it, right? GOG.com lets you download it to your hard drive. It's DRM free, meaning you can actually play it wherever, whenever you want. If they go out of business, as long as you have the game downloaded, you still have the game copy. Obviously, planning for them to go out of business is not, you know, <laughs> a point. But you don't need to be connected online to, to play the games that you purchased. This information is, is here worth millions. Do you mean on the website I linked or... Just in, in the, the answering questions, Naranya. But if you have any questions, do not hesitate. If anybody in chat is new to EVE or just has questions in general, just ask. I don't claim to know everything. But more often than not, I can get you started and or pointed in the right direction. We used to run Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds through GOG at LAN parties. Oh, man. Hey, Chaotic. HiSec Buyback, the greatest tool you can ever have. For fast liquid disk. In fact, Naranya, if you're going to be mining, make sure you bookmark that first link, the high sec buyback link. And then you can go to the YouTube link, the third link, that will show you how to use it. Whenever you get ore back to the station, you want to right click and compress. And if you can't, you want to make sure you store your ore somewhere where it can be compressed. The reason for that is it will sell for more when it's compressed, as it's easier to haul. It has a higher market value. Then you use high sec buyback, they'll come pick it up. And you're good to go. Oh, gotcha, Naranya. <laughs> hey, Rehad. Holy crap, Rehad. If you have Amazon Prime, you can claim the free G... Oh, that's what it comes from. I gotcha. Very cool. I hope you're doing well. Glad you could join us today. Let's go there. Yeah, if anyone doesn't know about Prime, here is the Prime command. So, if you have Amazon Prime, you already have Prime Gaming. But you have to, to claim it manually. It doesn't auto-apply. The links in chat will show you how. And one of the perks you get is a free sub to a channel of your choice on Twitch every 30 days. It never auto-renews into a paid sub, it just falls off. But you get a token every 30 days to, to use one, at wherever you would like. It doesn't have to be here. I'm in the Unio, so we already have a high-sec buyback program. Nothing wrong with that, Chaotic. If you've got one, that's, that's ideal. Means you're with a good group, potentially. All right, double data site is junk. Let's get into iTech. Go, go, go. But yeah, most folks don't have that starting out. Jacob, I think we have a Sega Genesis in the attic, and we have an original Xbox, but with some hardware mods. Used as an emulation box? Yep, that's a very common and popular use for it. I lurk while working most days? Well, thank you, Riyad. I appreciate the lurk. Hey, Jeannie, good morning. Jeannie, Jeannie, there's a river next to your frog now, courtesy of Shad in Shillville. Let's get to 0B, then 3D. But I want to get mining an industry, and when 
get decent to the game, there's a mining team I want to join who are 19 jumps away from my actual location. So what prevents you from joining them now? Like, do they have, like, requirements or something? Or or what, uh, Naranya? There's no wrong answer. I'm just trying to be aware of what's out there. Jacob just downloaded the new the new Oregon Trail. Just from looking at the file structure, they made it in, uh, in EO uh, Unreal Engine 4. That's cool. Awesome, Jacob. I hope you enjoy it. Let us know what you find out. Jumble has requested a Vinny drive-by in Shillville. Jumble will do. Let me get my probes out here. Is this SIG old or new? This one's new. Where is the SIG? There we go. Put the probes over there. Now while the probes scan, this is uh, the patrol car for Vinegar Duche, chief of the wormhole police who resides in Shillville, or at least near it. That's the police station back there from Archon. We're going to roll through. That was a good roll. That went right through there perfectly. Make the turn. Head him towards the headquarters, courtesy of Jumble. Oh, look at that. Two perfect rolls. No crash or anything for Vinny. The streets of Shillville remain safe. Thank you, Jumble. Combat site is junk. Let's get into 3D. Pull the probes. We don't need to pull probes, by the way. Just muscle memory from being old. Probes will auto-recall now when you jump gates. Genie, Shad and I are making Shillville worth moving into. That's right, Genie. You can't do it that perfect again. We'll find out, Genie. We'll find out if you if you put your points in. Or if you're just all talk. Uh, let's see, I haven't done the Patreon shout-out from Squeam. I complete these two. One mil, one mil. I completed those already. Then the drive-by from Jumble. There we go. <laughs> Genie? All right, Genie. Let's do it. Genie's talk shit. Let's see if Genie's right. At his age, he'll take any any being right he can he can take. Genie, how long have you been married? So I know how long you've been wrong for. Spoiler, Genie's all talk. <laughs> I did expect Genie to hold hoard his points. I didn't think he was going to spend them. Almost 20. Alright, so Genie hasn't been right about anything in almost 20 years. Let's see if today's Genie's day to be right about something. Then we'll do our Patreon shout requested by Ske Squeam forever ago. Let's go here. Alright, here we go, Genie. Showing the patrol car. There we go. Vinny's inside. Let's get the roll. First one's perfect. I like it. Can I get the two for oh, two for two though? Fuck. That one went a little too far. Went a little too far. A little too much excitement. Vinny gets to be half right. Or Vinny. Genie. I get my old people mixed up. Genie gets to be half right about something for the first time in 20 years. Genie, congratulations. Complete that one. Off to hunt taco supplies. See you later, nerds. Cruck, enjoy. Hope you find the perfect taco ingredients. Let's go to FY here. Pull the probes. It's <laughs> squeaky. That's right, 20 years. I demand a formal apology from Elder Wolf. Ooh. Let's see if you can collect that one. Let's do the Patreon shout requested by Squeam. If anyone has not heard of Patreon before, the link is in chat. It's a customizable subscription service. Now the obvious question, Rush, why does that need to exist? Well, a lot of people don't know that when you support through Twitch, whether it's bits or subs or gifted subs, half the money goes poof. You know, Twitch takes their cut for their own overhead. That's understandable. There's taxes and fees and things of that nature. But they're not going to tell you that, right? They want you to, the, to add value to their transaction. They want you to feel... Like, all that money is going where you intend it to. With Patreon, we get to keep 95% of it. With Twitch, we keep less than 50% of it. Now, that doesn't mean not to support on Twitch. You should support the way that you want to support. What gives you the most value. Especially with all the badges and bells and whistles that Twitch provides. And subscribing when you get to get rid of ads is a huge deal as well. For a lot of folks. But... If you're the type that wants to know where your money is going and you want it to go where you intended to, Patreon is the way to go. And we only have 19 spots left for VIPs. 19 spots remain. Kruk has the badge. Elderwolf has the badge. Even if you don't care about the badge, once they're gone, they're gone. You get the extra value of knowing you prevented someone else from getting one. 
We had brand new Patreon supporters on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of last week. It was absolutely insane. But we have not had a new Patreon supporter in today's the fifth day. And our goal this year is to become less dependent on Twitch revenue. And so Patreon and tips are the way to make it happen. Now, you don't have to be a VIP to support on Patreon. You can customize it to anything you want. It can be less than, equal to, or greater than your Twitch sub. And that should be the full Patreon shill squeam. I think I got it all. It took me forever. But I finally got caught up. Badge PvP, that's right. Elrof says I have bad news. I have horrible news. The dude with the tires was out of town last week. He gets back in and we're making plans to meet. Last message, noon. He messaged me a few hours later and says that he's so sorry. His brother sold the wheels to his friend already, but they haven't picked them up yet. Holy crap, what? Hold on. His brother sold the wheels to his friend already, but they haven't picked Have they paid for it? Oh, man. Elder Wolf. Now, do you, do you believe him, or do you think he's just bullshitting you over the price? Like he's having regret about lowering his price and he's trying to trying to weasel out of it. Patreon also gives you extra plots in Shillville. Thank you, Squeam. A perfect example. Yeah, the, the chat commands are finicky. You had to do this. What is it? Shillville. There we go. Command has to be first for it to function. I'll catch one chat some more. Elder Wolf, 19 badges. Take this common shit back. <laughs> Rush, what can I do to give someone else any Shillville plot space since I don't have... Uh, so you don't have to deal with it? We had something like that happen, happen Uncle Online. It was Vinny. Of course it was, right? Vinny's like, I don't need work on my desk. Vinny offered up... Uncle Online. Vinny offered up his plots to the next new VIP. Now, you can customize it however you want to, Uncle Online, if you want to make a similar deal or, or some modifications to it. But if you don't want to have to think at all, you can do the Vinny plan and just say the next VIP also gets Uncle Online's plots. The next new VIP can double dip and steal Uncle Online's plots. And by steal, we mean, you know, curate, take care of, oversee, manage. I'll do that thing, Uncle Online. All right, I'll start the shill then. Will do Uncle Online. If you will, Uncle Online, when you get a chance to, send me a DM on Discord saying that, just so I have uh, the bookkeeping, because we both know I'll forget this whole conversation in 15 minutes. That way, you know, six months from now, when I'm trying to figure out what the fuck's going on in Shillville, I don't have to wonder what the fuck is happening. Borrow without permission, right? Elder Wolf Mom always told me I wasn't special, but I just thought she was trying to make me humble. Look at Elder Wolf. Oh, man. At first, I didn't believe him, but he's been blubber, blub, blubbery apologetic. He said, if they don't pick them up by Saturday, he'll give them to me. Okay. Told me if he gets tired of waiting, I have cash in hand. That's right. Extra leverage of, of the guilt, Elder Wolf. Yeah, if he said, oh, well, he hasn't picked them up yet, it implies... Yeah, exactly, uh, Jinx. Exactly. I stopped by Target, almost bought that Lego set you have. Oh, God. The, uh, the, the the classics creator set, so you can start theory crafting. All right, three gigos into four nine. Let's go over here. We still have giveaways to do. We have a new shill from Uncle Online. Uncle Online is offering up his VIP slots. Now remember, remember, the extra VIP slots from Uncle Online are only valid as long as Uncle Online is still in uh, VIP Patreon. That's more of a disclaimer than anything else. But if we have a new VIP supporter, the next one, in fact, the very next one, will get Uncle Online's plots. So if you don't want to be becoming a VIP, the information's in chat. And we'll see Uncle Online. It worked for Vinny. I think Vinny got, yeah, Vinny got Shad as a new, a new Patreon supporter. We'll see if someone tries to take Uncle Online's VIP slot. Well, not VIP slot, but VIP plots. Uh, both these SIGs are old. Let's get into 9 UI. It looks like it, uh, Elder Wolf. That studio thing looks like it works amazingly. I need more spots for my Jeep. I'm going to need him to be fine to be under my front axle. Uh-oh. Some border negotiations going on. 
I'm trying to figure out a way to shill Uncle Online to Elder Wolf and say like Elder Wolf, <laughs> Elder Wolf, Elder Wolf, Elder Wolf. If you double your Patreon support, you can also, in fact, any current VIP. That way, we're not like just targeting Elder Wolf. This way, it goes out to Shad as well. If any current VIP increases their their Patreon support to doubling it, they can also have Uncle Online's plots as well. Plus, when you increase your own Patreon support, you'll get more plots that way too. You'll be getting two for one expansion value. There we go, says Uncle Online. <laughs> the rich get richer. <laughs> Yeah, imagine one of them just carving out, you know, a whole third of the board. <laughs> Elder Wolf will go from can't fit my Jeep on my plot to uh, bring in the next shipment, boys. I got a whole Jeep uh, car lot to, to roll out. Capitalism squeak. <laughs> oh, God. Naranya, line up before begin warp to a nearby warp gate. Our faster uh, that just do warp a warp gate. Hold on, Naranya. Line up before begin warp to a nearby gate are faster. Oh, uh, no. Short answer is no. There's a lot of like technical mechanical elements to that question, which I'm happy to talk about, but the short answer is no. Looks like to me that the Jeep width barely fits the six pips, but you'd have to build to see, right? Can, can you not build in the 2.0 uh, simulator thing? Ragnarok, have we decided how much is the shill to write out stuff on Vinny's tombstone? <laughs> oh, man. Here's, here's the problem, Ragnarok. And there's ways to fix it, but I thought about this yesterday. I was like, ooh, I should do a whole, like, Lego Shillville graveyard, right? Like on a gray plate, right? Get real morbid with it. It'd be fantastic. But when the people actually, you know, die and stop supporting on Patreon, then how do I, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to maintain, maintain their plots. So somebody would have to either maintain their plot for them, or we have to start selling that, like, uh, be prepared type of service where, you know, you gotta, you gotta get your, your plot in in advance. Oh no, Elder Wolf is already doing the math. So how many plots is that if I go to 20? Elder Wolf, you would go to your current plot number plus, because you're going to get all of Uncle Online's, and currently Uncle Online has 24. You would get 20 more yourself. My God, you would get 44 more plots, I think, Elder Wolf. Come on a second. Let me double check all the math. Let me double check all the math for you, so I don't, don't want to miss sell. Let's go here. You get plus 10, plus 20, right? Because it's, it's two plots per dollar. Yeah, you go plus 20, plus 24 from Uncle Online. That's assuming, it's assuming that you're the next double VIP. If another VIP beats you to it, they're going to steal those plots before you can get them. So don't bait yourself. Hey, Mortens. Welcome back. High sec buyback. A fantastic tool. If you don't already have a bookmark, bookmark the first link. That is the fastest, easiest, laziest way to get Liquidisk and EVE Online. Those prior tenants of the graveyard would be dug up and cremated. That's what I was thinking about yesterday. I was like, well, guess we'll have to excavate. <laughs> like, now nah, we got we got to figure out a better a better way. <laughs> Vinny, Vinny is inadvertently proof of concept for so many ideas. <laughs> Oh, man. Scream says, you know, I'm considering doing a 10 on Patreon and checkerboarding Shillville with them so people can lease those plots from me. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait for the um, the Shillville uh, real estate market to, to start booming. <laughs> and seeing what people do with it. Oh, man. I just imagine we'll have like a whole list of DMs and, and work to do. Hey, Rashad. Good morning. And happy Thursday. Rashad, you're, you're just in time. We're about to do some giveaways, and you can get in the way and make a big mess. I know that's your, your favorite thing to do. So you're just in time to do so.
Real estate is the real power, that's right. Hey, Crobat, good morning. Let's go to here, dump off loot. All right, we're gonna make our contract for high sec buyback on this character. We found another 140 million easy. A very good find, especially for like an hour and 20, 25 minutes. Shillville Arbiter's Guild. <laughs> Rashad is alive, he is indeed. Rashad's even down, what are you down now, total Rashad? I want to say Rashad's down over 100 pounds, but... I don't want to misquote. I don't want to, I don't want to oversell or discourage Rashad by me overstating. All right, select all. Now, let's do the high sec buyback thing. There's the link. Go here. Now we're going to copy all the loot, right? Crap, I've done that already, sorry. Let's do select all, control C, and then bring high sec buyback up onto the screen. Paste the loot into here. Hit submit. It's going to spit out a number. 117 million. Copy. Let's see if it's not getting paid out very much. Nothing down there. Just some inflated prices, looks like. Okay. You might be like, oh my god, we're going to lose like 20 something million esque on this deal. No, no, no. Listen. The time you save having someone else deal with this crap and allowing you to go back out and resume scanning and hacking. You're coming out far ahead. You're not paying taxes. You're not spending your time. Plus, estimated values are, are usually inflated. You know, they're, they're not very accurate. They're, esti they're estimates, right? That's the whole point of them. And we'll see 117 million, typically within the hour. That'll take us close to 800 million on this character and even closer to our goal. And that is episode seven of Alpha 2 Omega. If you've not done so, hit the sub button in the bottom right. Hit the like button. Leave a comment if you're enjoying this series. And we'll see you in the next episode. All right. Edit room is one, no, two. What is today's date? I don't think I did yesterday.